Hey YouTube, Pete the Norfolk Chillyhead, back with another review for you guys and today I've got another awesome sounding homemade product for you. This was sent to me by Pete Frisbee at the Mr Frizz 42 channel, so if you're not familiar already then do go check out his channel. It's really awesome, loads of great reviews on there and definitely worth checking out guys. Uh, so this, as I say, is a homemade product that he's made with his own fair hands and this is Fiery Frizz's Caramelized Onion and Maruga Chutney. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Fiery Frizz, that's a great brand name if you ever decided to go into this professionally. Fiery Frizz Foods, that's got a certain ring to it, I reckon. Uh, but this, of course, does boast the infamous Maruga Scorpion ch uh, Chili Pepper, the hottest pepper in the world, as uh, most of you will already know who are watching this. Um, and so I'm not expecting this to be any slouch whatsoever in the heat department. I'm going to expect this to pack a bit of a punch. Uh, but anyway, in the ingredients list we have red onions, brown sugar, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar and Trinidad Maruga Scorpion jellies. Uh, so expecting some nice sweetness of course from the onions and the sugar. Nice caramelised uh, sort of aromas and flavours going on in there and a bit more depth and uh, richness from the, the vinegars there and of course heat from those scorps. So let's just crack this open and see what we've got. Wow. Well, if you can just see the consistency there, it's completely packed with onions as you would expect. I do love an onion chutney. I really do. And this one smells good. It has that sort of caramelised sort of note to it that you'd expect from, from a product like this. It's got that unmistakable caramelised onion chutney smell. It smells really good. I think I'm detecting a little bit of, of heat in the background there. Can't see any seeds or anything, so maybe he sort of got those out of there, but it certainly does look very good. And it's quite sort of, it's not sort of very runny or anything, it's it's relying on the on the on the onions a lot to deliver its its texture here, if you can see how chunky that looks and it does look pretty darn awesome so I'm just going to dive right in guys and take a nice mouthful of this mm. Wow that's really, really good. Really, really nice. I absolutely love my onion chutneys. And this one is really fantastic. And I'm not just saying it because he sent it to me and he's made it himself. It's really good. Lovely, lovely onion flavours. Lovely sweetness coming through. And I just love the texture of it. You know, so much onion going on in there. There's no little sort of bits of runny juice sort of splashing around everywhere. It's just lovely onion sticky sweet consistency. Wow, love it. Mm. This is not going to last long at all. <laughs> this is not going to last long at all. Um, heat wise, uh, well I did just eat a ghost chili yesterday guys so my tolerance is probably quite high at the moment. But um, I would say that considering it does contain the hottest chilli in the world, um, I'm finding it quite mild, if I'm being honest. Um, it does have a burn though, I mean I've got a nice little lip sting going on here. And there's a little bit of a sting going on at the front of the, of the tongue, tip of the tongue. Working its way slightly to the roof of the mouth, but only very slightly. I mean I would say that this is a, for most people, this would be a very manageable product, you know, it's not going to blow your head off, but it does have a nice respectable warmth to it. It's the kind of thing that you could eat lots and lots and lots of and just appreciate that lovely warmth that comes through from it without having to gasp for breath and have tears streaming down your face, you know. It's, it's, it's just the perfect balance in terms of flavour and heat and texture. Mm. Mm. That kicks ass. Kick ass. Awesome, Pete. Thank you so much for sending me that, mate. Really, really good. If I had to give it a rating, 
And I'd say flavour wise, probably nine out of ten. Uh, in terms of onion chutneys, I don't really see how you can improve on that much, to be honest. Um, there's nothing really about the flavour that I would change. Um, heat wise, like I say, my tolerance is probably slightly higher than normal at the moment, um, but I would probably give it about a 5 out of 10, maybe. About a 5 out of 10. Nice, lovely mouth warmth that just sort of coats you all over and just makes you feel pretty good with the world. Pretty good. <laughs> so thanks, Pete. Very much appreciated, and I'll see all you guys once again very soon with another review. See ya. Whoa! Whoa!